So at that point, if you've run out of layers, you can do what's called merge your layers. And that just means you're gonna smash them together. So what I do for merging, you, there's a, a couple ways you can do it. You can either tap on your layer and then tap on the picture box and you'll get these, these options will pop up. And right here where it says merge down, you can just click that and it'll merge, it'll combine with the layer underneath. But if you want, if you have a bunch of layers that you want to combine or merge, you can do it really fast simply by taking your, your finger and your thumb and you're gonna grab the top layer and the bottom layer and the group that you wanna merge together and you're just gonna push down on them and then squeeze squeeze them together. Sometimes you got to try a couple times. So you see now how I'm back to one layer. I had made all those different layers, but now I'm back to one. And you know, you don't really necessarily need to worry about that unless, like I said, you run out of layers, like Procreate won't let you have anymore. Now that I've merged those, I can start making more layers again. Now suppose you merged your layers like this and you actually didn't mean to do that. This is another huge time saver that Procreate offers artists. It's called undo. So I just merged all those layers. Maybe I, I changed my mind. I don't want to do that now. If you see down here on the left hand side of my screen, I have this little arrow, this little backwards curved arrow here. That's called undo. So I click it and look, now my layers are all unmerged. That's really cool because you might do something in, while you're drawing that you didn't mean to do, or you'll get really fast at working with Procreate and sometimes you'll do things just totally on accident and you'll be like, oh no, like you might accidentally delete a whole layer or something and your big piece of your drawing is gone. But all you have to do is undo and then you bring it back. Now. If I decide that I change my mind again, no, I do want those layers merged. This little arrow that's pointing the opposite direction, that's un here's undo, this one is called redo. So now I can just tap it and look, now they're all merged together again. So undo and redo are super, super cool features. You're gonna use those all the time with Procreate. So just kind of, um, practice a couple things. I'm going to do another scribble here and then undo it. And it'll go back as far as you want it to, basically. Uh, you can undo several things. So, and then you can re keep redoing back up to where you were if you want to. So just practice that a little bit, scribble a little, undo it, redo it, put it back, practice that, that a little bit. Um, so now let's talk a little bit more about layers. I'm going to go ahead and create some more. So um, let me go ahead and draw on this layer a little bit. So right now I'm on layer six, my top layer. You can always tell what layer you're on because it'll be blue. And that's important to get used to because as you start drawing more complicated drawings, you, you it'll matter what layer you're drawing on. And it'll matter because, because I'll show you here. So suppose I want to use my eraser tool and I want to actually hand erase this pink and blue, this pink and blue that's together. Well, look, I'm erasing, erasing, erasing. Nothing's happening, nothing's happening. What, why won't this go away? Well, it's because I have the, the layer with the red selected. If I wanna erase that out by hand, I ne actually need to select that layer. See how it's turned blue now? And now I can go in and erase that. So little things like that'll happen a lot where you're trying to draw or you're trying to erase something or move something and you're like, why isn't this working? Well, it's just because you're not on the right layer. So kind of get used to paying attention to what layer you have selected 
Now, there's a really cool thing. You'll also find a lot in Procreate that as, you, as you're drawing, you, you might have a layer that actually you wanna get rid of. You don't need it anymore. And there's lots of ways to do it. You could either, you could hand erase like I, I was just doing. Um, you could hit undo if you just created it and you don't, you changed your mind, you don't want it. You can hit undo. Or a very cool way to get rid of a whole layer is to just take your, your pen or your finger and swipe to the left. And now you see you have all these, these options for, don't worry about lock, that's not too important right now, duplicate or delete. So um, if you hit delete, it'll just go away. But if you change your mind, you can always undo and bring it right back. Now I'm gonna swipe again and show you duplicate. So duplicate makes an exact copy of that same layer. So why would I use either of these? Why would I wanna delete or duplicate? Well, what if you're drawing a picture of flowers? Okay, so let me just make a really quick flower here. And you're, you're wanting to draw a whole field of these flowers. Well, I drew the flower once, now I can duplicate it a bunch of times. And I can just start moving my flowers and I'm gonna show you more about exactly how to do this later. But this is just a quick demonstration of why duplicating layers matters. Now I can just move all these flowers all over my screen and I only had to draw it once. So it, it could take me maybe one minute to fill my entire page with flowers. And again, going back to comparing with traditional artwork, it's gonna take you a long time to draw flower after flower after flower after flower and fill the whole page, you see what I'm saying? So you can duplicate and copy things to make your drawing faster. Now, as far as getting rid of a layer, a reason why I do this, actually almost every drawing that I, I have, let me go ahead and I'm going to merge all these layers and then I'm going to actually clear it, get rid of it. So a lot of times when I'm drawing, what I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll start out with like a pencil and I'll quickly, I'll do a, a sketch layer of my drawing. So what if I'm drawing like a person? Obviously, this is a very silly drawing. So I'll, I'll use my pencil and I'll quickly sketch whatever I'm wanting to draw. And then I'll create a new layer. And now I'm gonna get like an ink pen, kind of comparable to a Sharpie marker. And now I'm going to go back over my sketch layer and I'm gonna actually start inking over it. And typically that, that layer will be a lot nice, nicer, a lot better drawn than my pencil layer. And then once I have my whole layer drawn the way I want it, I'll take that pencil layer that I made for just like a reference and I'll delete it because I don't need it anymore. So I'll swipe to the left and I'll hit delete and then it's gone. And then I'd be left with whatever I had drawn on the layer above it. So that's one really common reason why you'll delete layers a lot of times. So as you get more into um, using layers and drawing more complex pieces of art, um, you'll get really good at this and it'll help you with have these really complex pieces of art that you can just change little things here and there. Let me give you an example. Now to teach you a little bit more about layers, I'm going to show you some things with this piece of artwork that I have in Procreate. As you can see, this is a pretty detailed piece of artwork. So it has a lot of layers. I, I drew it on a lot of layers. So one thing I wanna show you with layers, here are all the layers for this unicorn art. One of the most important things about layers that a tool that you'll use while you're drawing is that you'll want a layer to go away, but you'll want it to only go away temporarily. So you're not gonna wanna delete it. 
Anytime you want to make a layer go away temporarily, all you're going to do is right here next to this letter N, you'll see a little check mark. And anytime you uncheck it, that layer will go away. So now I've, right now I've, I've unchecked every layer in this piece of art. And as you can see, it's just a, a white blank page now. So now anytime you want to bring back a layer, you can just click the box again and check it again and then the layer will come back. So let me show you how this drawing started. This drawing, I started it with a grid because I knew I was going to make, which that's a little bit hard to see on the document camera. There you go. You can kind of see it there. And then I had a reference layer where like I had, I told you before, I'll sketch out my drawing a lot of times first and then I'll make the more detailed drawing over it. So, and get rid of it later. So this is a perfect example of that where I sketched out my drawing, but then once I start doing the more detailed work, so I'm gonna start bringing back my drawing now. Once I start bringing those things back, now, once I'm finished, I actually don't want my grid there anymore. So I uncheck that grid and I don't want my sketch layer there anymore. So I uncheck it. So that, that the checking and unchecking layers is pretty important as you're drawing. You're gonna have a lot of, as you practice more and more, you're gonna have a lot of times where you want the layer, but you need to get rid of it for a minute. So you can check and uncheck the layers and then bring them back when you want them. So I'm gonna show you a couple more things about working with layers. The first thing I want to tell you about is something called blend modes. The way that you work blend modes, what those are, the way that you work with them is whatever layer you're on, whatever, whatever layer you want to work with, you need to select it. So I want to work with the layer that has all the unicorn faces on it. All those backgrounds you see are on different layers and I have all my unicorn faces on the same layer. So I want to work with that layer. Now to access the blend modes, what you want to do, every layer that you have in Procreate will have this little N on it. It's probably, that's probably very small. Let me sh show you closer. So you see how there's the little N on each of those layers. So that is your blend mode layer or your blend mode function. Anytime you click on that N, and again, you want to click on it on the layer that you're wanting to work with, which in my case, I'm wanting to work with my unicorn faces. When you click on that N, you see all these little options popped up and you can see this little bar with the blue line and it says opacity. So these are all have to do with blend modes for your layer. Opacity is a pretty important one. You'll probably use this a lot. Opacity is how light or dark your, your, your drawing is. It basically means that if you want to make it lighter, you're go it's going to become see-through. So if I want to knock back or turn back the opacity of my layer, I'm just going to touch it either with your stylus or with your finger, and you can drag it back. And you see how, you see how as I'm dragging it back, my unicorns are actually disappearing and then they're coming back. Okay, so here on my iPad screen, as I was saying, when you touch the opacity and you drag it back, you can see much better now how they're not actually disappearing, they're just getting much lighter. Now, if you drag it all the way back, they'll disappear. But you'll find situations when drawing that you act, you drew the whole thing, but actually you'd like it to be lighter. And instead of redrawing, you can just knock back the opacity of the entire layer. So that's one blend mode. The other way to work with blend modes is, again, like I said, you would need to 
tap on your N, and that's going to make all these little options pop up. You can see it says darken, color burn, linear burn, dark color. Now, this is something that you'll want to kind of experiment more with once you've made a drawing yourself. But I'm just showing you so that you'll know how to do it when you get there. But again, I'm still on my unicorn faces. And what I can do, what these blend modes do, is it can kind of change the look of your layer. So, like if I scroll down to light and that makes them actually disappear. Um, let's see. Um, here's one called pin light. Um, and it just gives it a much different look than the way that I drew it. Ooh, this one's called different. So that inverted the colors, it changed the colors to the opposite. So that's really cool. That's just an entirely different look than the way I drew those unicorns, but it's a cool look. Uh, let's see, exclusion. Sometimes it's just fun to go through slowly selecting these different um, blend modes. This one turned it into black and white, which that's kind of cool too. Because sometimes you might make a, a piece of art in color, but you think, oh, this would actually look cool in black and white too. So you can just easily turn it into a black and white drawing if you want to. So that's kind of cool. And then let's see up here, multiply. And it's just kind of fun to kind of go through and see what it, each blend mode will do to your drawing, to your layer. It, and you, it'll only change the layer that you're on. So if you, you can change, you can have different blend modes on different layers. But anytime you wanna just bring it back to how you drew it, you can always just return it to the normal option. And that's why you see N right here. N is for normal. If you change the blend mode, the letter will change. So sometimes you might be drawing and you might accidentally change the blend mode, but you don't, you can't figure out why. So you might be drawing and you're like, ah, where'd all my unicorns go? Then you could just check, go to your layer, and then you could see right here, oh, I changed it. That that's an A, that should be an N. And you'll know to just tap your letter and then scroll back to normal and bring your drawing back. So that's just one of those things that could happen accidentally and could really confuse you. So if something weird like that's happening, you always want to check your blend modes. But also, it just really can change your artwork and make it look cool. And you could also make like different versions of the same artwork with blend modes. Lots of fun. As you work more and more with Procreate, you'll get really good with blend modes. So the next thing I want to kind of show you is layer options. And we kind of talked about this a little bit already, but layer options are more um, kind of just for, um, I don't know how to explain it. It's more the technical things rather than actually changing the appearance of your artwork. But if you go to your layers again, now, I'm going to tap on my unicorn layer, but I'm going to actually tap on the little box that has the picture in it. And this is going to bring up my layer options. If you recall earlier, I just briefly mentioned how you can rename your layer if you like to give each of your layer names. So that's one of your options. Um, the select option on this, on the layer options is one that I use a lot, but we're going to go into that more in detail another time, but that is a big one. Um, clear is one that some of these aren't really that important. I'm not going to touch on all of them, but clear is another one where that's just another way to, del to delete whatever's on your layer. Um, we already covered some ways to delete, but if you clear, if you hit clear, then as you can see, now my unicorns are gone. I don't want my unicorns to be gone though. So I'm going to hit undo. Now they're back. So again, go back to my layer options. I'm going to click on my layers and I'm going to click on the little picture and alpha lock, mask, clipping mask, invert, none of reference, none of those are really that important right now. You'll use them more and more as you become more of an advanced digital artist, but for now, not that important. 
but the merge down, that was another one that we talked about earlier for merging. If you just wanna merge one layer down to the layer underneath of it, you just click your merge down and it'll merge. And I'm gonna undo that. But like I said, you can also merge many layers at one time by squeezing the top and the bottom and merging them together. So that is just moving forward as we go through other lessons. If I'm talking about layer options, I'm talking about clicking the picture box and bringing up that drop down menu of options. If I'm talking about blend modes, then I'm talking about clicking the little N and bringing up this selection of op options, starting with opacity, okay? So that's some good knowledge about layers. And remember, practice some of those tips and techniques that I was showing you so that you're really good at them as we move forward and learn how to draw digitally. <laughs>